with the new SunGo card, we are going all electronic. So it'll have an antenna instead, and you'll use a near-field communication chip. When you tap it to the fare box, it'll automatically reduct the amount of money that it needs for you to make a trip. So the old card is magnetic, and it had a magnetic strip on the back, and you'd swipe it in the fare box. When you get your SunGo card, what you can do is refill it at any fast food store or transit station across Tucson. Right now, we're offering the card itself. It's free. So what we're asking people, though, is to put a little bit of money on it so they're ready for Sunday. There are 30-day passes, one-day passes, and you can put any cash value that you want on the card. So it's essentially the same as before, just on one card only. You'll just put in your money, you'll tap your card, it'll put the money on the card, and when you're ready to go, you just go to the bus, tap your card, and get on. One of the direct responses that we've had is that it takes too long to board the bus, and it holds up traffic. So people who ride in Tucson regularly will see a bus stop right in front of them, and it'll take them maybe a minute, a minute and a half. With this new SunGo system, all it'll take is a tap to the fare box to get on the bus, which speeds up boarding time by a lot, uh, substantially. So people who don't usually ride the bus will see an improvement in that amount of time that they're waiting behind the bus for passengers to board. And in turn, that will increase ridership because buses will be more on time. And hopefully, we'll get more people to ride it because of ease of use.